Welcome and thanks for taking the time to view this video which will be demonstrating the use of iPerf version 1 to test network bandwidth and throughput using Nutanix CVMs which are based on Red Hat CentOS. While this video uses Nutanix CVMs, the method used in this video could equally be used in a non-Nutanix CVM environment. iPerf version 1 is already installed on the CVMs and doesn't require a separate download on the CVMs themselves. However, you may need to download iPerf if you intend to perform the test using an external node such as Windows, Linux, or other client. iPerf is a cross-platform tool for measuring network bandwidth between two or more nodes using a server-client architecture with protocols such as TCP, SCTP, and UDP. Newer versions of iPerf add disk read and write tests. iPerf is available at https colon forward slash forward slash iperf.fr. First, we we'll need to get the IP addresses we'll be using for iPerf. From Prism Element, you can log in, select the hardware page, diagram or table tabs, and select the nodes which will show you the IP addresses for IPMI, hypervisor, and CVM in the lower left window pane with the node selected. From a console session to the virtual IP or any CVM IP for the cluster, can log in and get the IP addresses by running IPMI IPS for the IPMI addresses. Host IPS for host and SVM IPs for the CVMs. Now that we have the Nutanix CVM IP addresses using a console session to any CVM or Nutanix cluster virtual IP address, we'll want to disable IP tables as that will prevent from communicating between CVMs. Disabling tables on any new CVM can be done by running all SSH space sudo space forward slash bin forward slash sys tem ctl space stop space IP tables dot service. All SSH will run the command after all SSH on all CVMs in the cluster, therefore no need to run the command on every CVM. Once IP tables is stopped on the CVMs, we'll want to select one CVM to be used as a server to listen for iPerf communications from one or more clients, in this case other CVMs. The iPerf server can be another node outside of Nutanix. To start iperf server, run iperf space dash s. Open a console to another CVM in the cluster. We'll use a for loop to initiate the client iperf test on all CVMs in the cluster by running for space i space in space backtick svm ips backtick semicolon space do space ssh space dollar sign i space opening quote iperf space dash c for client space ip address of iperf server v cvm end quote space dash t space 30 to give a 30 second delay semicolon space done this command will pass the output of svm ips which is the ip address of each cvm open the ssh console to that cvm and run an iperf test from client to server. Then return to the original CVM and reiterate the test until all CVM IP addresses from SVM IP's output. For a non-Nutanix environment, you could create a file with IP addresses of each client, then craft the for loop to read from the file as an alternative. The output return will show the network throughput for each client to server. For the CVM that is the iPerf server, the network throughput will be higher as the iperf test doesn't have to traverse over the network instead using its local source. Control C will stop the listener on the iperf server. Once the iperf test is completed, be sure to re-enable IP tables on the CVMs by running all ssh space sudo space forward slash bin forward slash systemctl space start space IP tables dot service. This concludes this video on running iPerf to measure network bandwidth on Nutanix CVMs. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful. If so, 
and you'd like to support this channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking and sharing the video, commenting below, and selecting the bell icon below to receive notification on future content as it posts. Thanks and have a great day.